Hello, I'm here with my May book haul. And I'm doing this a couple days before the end of May because I am hoping that I do not buy any more books this month. As you can tell from my book outlet order that I had earlier, I didn't do as well with the not buying books as I had hoped, but I did a lot better than I have been doing, which is pretty good. <laughs> I have 33 books to show you. One of them I am getting rid of and I will explain that whenever I get to it, but 33 books is not bad compared to how I have been buying books. And I have already read three of them so far, so yay! I'm doing better with reading books as I'm getting them, even though I'm buying way more books than I can read in a month, so still need to get better with that. But let's get started. Okay, the first books I'm going to show you um, actually is the book that I'm going to be getting rid of and the books that I ordered with it. I ordered these off of Thrift Books and currently if you're in the US, if you purchase more than $10 in books, they give you free shipping. So of course I bought more than $10 in books. The first book, which is the book that I am getting rid of, is Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. This was supposed to be a like new edition and it did not say anything about being a former library book, which they have an icon on their site that tells you whether it's a former library book or if it's a hardcover, if it's missing the dust jacket, it'll say that on there. And it didn't say it was a former library book and this is a former library book from a middle school and it has you see that? Like silver nail polish or something. It's not keeping the pages from opening, but it's got something silver dripped on the edges. And it's got drawings on it, and the inside is all messed up. So I contacted them and they said, don't worry about sending us back the book, we'll refund you the money. And at first they didn't refund the, me the money, but I reordered the book, and after I reordered the book, then they refunded me the money. So that was okay, but that's later on in the book haul. This one I have, but I'm getting rid of. The next two books that I ordered, Dragons of the High Lord Skies and Dragons of the Hourglass Mage, both by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. This is book two and book three of the Lost Chronicles series. And I hauled the first book earlier in the year and I hadn't ever seen that book before. And I love Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. I love their Dragonlance books. I love, just love them. <laughs> and I found these on thrift books and so I had to get them. This one has some creasing on the edges, but I think it was listed as just good condition. It might have been very good, but I think it was just good condition. And it turned out a lot better than I thought it would. It has a clearance sticker from Half Price Books for one dollar on it. <laughs> but I am so excited to read these. I had to get the whole series before I could start on these. And I needed to see how they fall in the Dragonlance world. I might have to reread the Chronicles before I read these, but yay! The next books I ordered, two of them I ordered off of Thrift Books, and one of them I ordered off of eBay. Dragon Wing Volume 1 of the Deathgate Cycle by Margaret Weiss and Tracy Hickman. I already have this in mass market paperback, and I have part of the series in mass market paperback and part of it in hardcover. So I decided to go ahead and pick up the ones that I had in the mass market paperback in hardcover, and this is book one. Then I got The Hand of Chaos, which I think is book five? I'm not sure, but The Hand of Chaos, and I'm a little upset with this one because it is shorter. 
get this like an inch shorter. But they're really hard to find in hardcover that's not a former library book, so I'm not going to complain too much. And it's in really good condition. It's got some tearing on the top of the dust jacket here, but it's really hard to find them that are not a former library book, so I was excited to find this. And then I got Into the Labyrinth, which is book six, I think. I think this is book six. I don't know, it doesn't say on the inside, but I think this is book six. And these are the only three, there are seven books in the series, and I only had three that were mass market paperback, and the other four were hardcovers, so it was better to get the rest of the hardcovers than it was to get the rest in mass market paperback. So I was really excited to find these. Again, like I said, they're really hard to find not ex-library copies. So the next book I have is my reordered copy of Twilight in hardcover and this was again in like new condition and whenever I ordered this I also ordered Twilight the graphic novel volume 1 and Twilight the graphic novel volume 2. Now, I've already read these I have a review up on Goodreads and I'm going to have a verbal review in my wrap-up video so I'm not really gonna tell you much about these but in order to get the free shipping for the Twilight I had to get something so I got the two graphic novels to go with it and I'm just missing New Moon in the graphic novel and I think there is a volume 2 of New Moon graphic novel coming out in July but on Amazon the only thing I can find is an ebook copy that's being released so I'm hoping that it's an actual copy because I'm willing to buy that they're good and I actually bought a new release on release day that's Sarah Dessen's Say Anything this and the moon and more I think were the only ones that I didn't have of Sarah Dessen's and this is actually the only one that I have in hardcover because it's the only one that I purchased on release day the only place to purchase books in my town really is Walmart. That's the only place that you can get new books. And they hardly ever get new books on release day. So I was really excited to see this. I had to get it. The next book I got was actually a late birthday present from my boyfriend's grandma. He was supposed to order it for me and he never did. So she went to me and said, okay you're supposed to be getting this book for your birthday but it's like a month late so can you just order it and I'll pay you for it <laughs> so I finally have four by Veronica Roth and yeah I paid for it and she gave me the money and had just had it sent to my house <laughs> so this is my late birthday present from my boyfriend's grandma <laughs> The next books I got because I had a $5 off book outlet coupon and I had to get two books because just one book wasn't $4. They're both hardcover and I got My True Love Gave to Me by several authors and this is all Christmas stories so I'm not going to read this until Christmas time but I'm excited to read this. And then I finally caught The Winner's Curse on Book Outlet. So excited. It's got, finally figured out these are decoded edge pages. Finally got this. And neither one of them were $5 by themselves. So I think after shipping, because the $5 doesn't go off of shipping, it only goes off of the price of the book. So with the two books, plus shipping minus the $5 coupon. I think I spent like $8 on these two books. So I went out shopping with my mom and we weren't originally supposed to be going shopping but she had stuff that she needed to do and she talked me into buying some books because I kept saying that I was trying not to buy books. But we found a bunch of Dragonlance books and Dragonlance. So <laughs> that's my only excuse, Dragonlance. I did get a couple of books that I was actually looking for, so that's one thing. And some of them were just, I knew I wouldn't find it for that price again, so I just 
how to get it. Starting with the Dragonlance books. I'm not saying the authors for these. I got A Warrior's Journey, Volume 1 of the Ergoth Trilogy, Heroes 2, Volume 2, The Gates of Thor Barden, and this is the only Heroes that I was missing because she gave me all the other ones, but I have Heroes, there's Heroes, and then there's Heroes 2. And I had Volumes 1 and Volume 3 of Heroes 2, and I didn't have this one. So, pick this one up. And these were 4 for $8, so they were like $2 each. And then I got Volume 3 and Volume 4 of The Meetings of the Sextet, which Volume 3 is Dark Heart. And volume four is The Oath and the Measure. I think I already have volumes one and two. I only have two of the volumes of The Meetings of the Sextet. And they're one of the most popular sets in the series. So I still need two books from The Meetings of the Sextet. And I was excited to find now the next books I got are by Anne McCaffrey and a couple of other authors, Elizabeth Ann Scarborough and Margaret Ball. And these are from Acorna's series. I already had one of the novels. I'm not saying these in any particular order because I'm not going to look up and see what order they're supposed to go in. I'm sorry. But we have Acorna's Rebels, Acorna's Quest, Acorna's Triumph, Acorna's Search, and Acorna the Unicorn Girl. And I think this is the first one. I already have one of these books, I think. And there's either one or two that I don't have. I think there's seven altogether. And I got five. So there's seven or eight altogether. And I have five that I just got. I don't know. But I really like Anne McCaffrey's Pern series. And the fact that there's so many books in this one. And it's about the Unicorn Girl. So... I've been wanting to read this, but I haven't been able to find the books, so whenever I found them, and they were four for ten dollars, so they were two fifty each, I had to get them. And my mom ended up getting me one of them. And she also got Christopher's Diary, Echoes of Dollinger by V.C. Andrews. And the Flowers in the Attic series is one of my favorite series by V.C. Andrews. And I found out just recently that they are doing the diaries. So I still need to get Christopher's Diary Secrets of Foxworth. And I think that's the only two that are out for this right now. But I need to figure out if this is the first one or the second one. The next book I got is Rosie O, How She Conned America by Jim Nelson with Susan True. And I don't know, I just really enjoyed Rosie O'Donnell growing up. And I've heard about this book quite a few times before. It's from the files of the National Enquirer, though, so I don't know how accurate this is going to be. But it was 15 cents at the um, church bookstore that I usually go to. So 15 cents, and it's about Rosie O'Donnell, one of my favorite actresses growing up. So I figured I'd at least give it a chance, even if it is just full of bull. Then at the same thrift store, I also found Dean Koontz Shattered, which I don't really know anything about. The back of it just has a picture of Dean Koontz. But I really enjoy the Odd Thomas series, and my mom and her boyfriend gave me a ton of Dean Koontz books whenever they moved. And this is one that I didn't have, so I figured I'd pick it up. It was only 15 cents. 
Then I went to the Book Nook in Newburgh and I found Dean Koontz Odd Interlude. It is a Odd Thomas special Odd Thomas adventure. This is one of the ones that I do not have yet. There's only a couple more of the newer ones I think that I don't have. But I found this and it was half the cover price, which was $7.99 for the cover price. So it was like $4 and it's in fairly good condition. So I picked it up because these are hard to find. And we went to a consignment shop, which I got some shoes and I got a shirt. One of the pairs of shoes, like all the shoes were $3 each and I got some combat boots and I got a pair of Vera Wang high heels that have like a snakeskin sole on them. They're like black with a snakeskin sole. And you probably don't want to hear about this, but then I also got these like Lolita kind of high heels and they were all three dollars each and I couldn't even wrap my head around the fact that they had a pair of Vera Wang in my size for three dollars so I'm not usually a designer person but they were really cute so I got them but their books were also half price so I got Define Normal by Julie Ann Peters and I don't know I didn't really read what the book was about but I read the top of the thing and it says for everyone who has ever felt out of place and that's all I read and I got it I grabbed it it was originally two dollars so I got this for one dollar and I got who's afraid of Virginia Woolf by Edward Alby and I've heard a few people talking about this on booktube and it was originally 50 cents and since it was half off it was only 25 cents so I figured I would give it a try and it, it is a play so that's going to be a fun read and I found Prozac Nation by Elizabeth Wurzel and I've heard some interesting things about this and my mom said that she's read it and she was like why do you want this I've already read this but why have you why do you want this this is a former library book and in the middle here the spine is just broke it was originally one dollar so it would have been 50 cents, but when I talked to them about the spine being all broke, they marked it down to only 25 cents. So I got this one for only 25 cents. Then I got Fever, 1793 by Lori Hulse Anderson. And I think my mom said that she read this one too. Or maybe she read this one and not the Prozac Nation. I don't know. I just introduced my mom to this YouTube channel, so hi mom. If you're watching this, then maybe you can clarify me in the comments. <laughs> Lori Hall Sanderson wrote Speak, and I have Speak, and I thought that was really interesting. I haven't gotten to read it yet. But whenever I read what this one was about, which is, I guess, about the yellow fever, I think this was supposed to be about the yellow fever. So, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting and I've heard a lot of good things about this author so whenever I found this book for a dollar and it was marked down to 50 cents and it's in like excellent condition except for the sharpie that they marked with on the back I had to get it and we went to some little corner place that my mom saw some furniture at and she wanted to check out and I found this book for five dollars HG Wells it has The Time Machine, The Island of Dr. Moreau, The Invisible Man, The First Men in the Moon, The Food of the Gods, and The War of the Worlds. I have already read The Time Machine on my Nook, and I have The War of the Worlds. I haven't read it yet, 
but this matches a Charles Dickens book that I have and I figured I probably wouldn't be able to find these other books so for five dollars I mean I got six books for five dollars so I'm really excited about this another trip to visit my mom we went back to the church thrift store and I found Jacob's Ladder by Brian Keeney and this is another one of the books that I have already read. It was only 50 cents and I think it was worth all of 50 cents. I mean it's a hardcover, it's in excellent condition, and I really enjoyed it. It's more of like a middle grade, but I'll leave that for my May wrap up and you can find out what I thought of this then. And then the last book was whenever I went to visit my mom. I mentioned in a previous video that I purchased a book that had three novels in it and I didn't know the name of it because I let my mom read it first and she gave it back to me, she already read it, and it is by Kay Hooper. It's called Enchanted. It has Kissed by Magic, Belonging to Taylor, and Eye of the Beholder in it. So this one is one that I hauled previously. I didn't even really buy it. it I got it th with credits that I'd already gotten. But now I can read it. She said she really liked it, so I'm excited to get into this because we like a certain type of romance books. So yay! Okay, there is no way that I can lift all these books at once. So. There are the hardcovers, and here are the paperbacks. I can't even get them all in frame. Even in the two individual stacks, I can't even get them all in frame. So, that's all I have for this video, and I guess I'll see you next time.